point of being a feminist, the point of being a supportive female, is allowing females to identify what they like, what feels good for them. It's, it was liberating to be a part of a film that was written by a female, that starred two females, and that was directed by a female. That's the total opposite world that I was coming from. I was coming from man land with bombs and shit. As soon as you push, yeah, you're a bitch. But if you don't push, you'll never get what you need. Uh, how do you, do you feel some responsibility for this film? Because it's going to scare the hell out of a lot of girls, right? Why wouldn't it scare the hell out of a lot of boys if it's going to scare the hell out of a lot of girls? <laughs> you said um, men are scared of a strong, confident vagina. Oh, well, that I think is true. Yeah. The statistics are frightening. One in three women around the world will be a victim of violence in their lifetimes. But people aren't talking about it. And without conversations, the issue of domestic violence remains hidden. Women are capable of bearing a tremendous amount of responsibility, um, which is why we were the ones chosen to give birth in the first place. Women are objectified, um, especially women in the entertainment industry, because we're packaged and sold as sex. That's how you, that's how you merchandise us. That's how you sell us. That's how you sell your magazines or you get hits on your blog or whatever. Oh, being a woman means for me being resilient because we're burdened with a lot. We're asked to carry a lot physically, mentally, emotionally. So I think the metaphor of the phoenix is a good metaphor for being a woman constantly like being burned to ashes and having to rise again. All women, unfortunately, have some deep-seated insecurities um, for whatever reason because of how we're raised in society. And it's hard having so much focus on you all the time. It's hard to maintain that sort of confidence because you're always second-guessing yourself and questioning yourself and feeling like you're letting someone down or you're failing in one way or another because you can't please all of the people all of the time. A woman who's intelligent and also knows how to weaponize her beauty. There is nothing. Come on, Jennifer's body. There is nothing more dangerous than that. There's nothing more powerful than that. And Opening up the idea that there could have been an army full of at least one third women actually fighting in Burka, right? Burka. The Burka warrior. That was the Burka place. Warrior. Was it was the Burka grave, and it was a female, of course, who was like, "We should test the gender of this individual." Right. And everyone was like, why? It's a man. And of she was course. like, no, I'm going to do it. And she did it, and it was a woman. And so that's there's a big controversy there because it's very hard for people to accept that women weren't just taking care of the house and the kids back then a thousand years ago, that they could have been fierce you know, warriors, fierce leaders. warriors. Yeah. Und gleichzeitig ein Sexsymbol. Like ich glaube aber, das muss ich nicht widersprechen. Sex symbol, but I don't feel like they have to be in contradiction with one another. People will be like, you just don't really work that much. Like journalists will be like, what do you, I mean, it's nice to see you in a movie because you don't really work that much. I've just stated and given birth to three children. I starred in a movie that opened worldwide number one twice. I was on a critically acclaimed sitcom. I executive produced and created a show about archeological controversies. How much more productive yeah, does a woman need to be? In American society specifically, um, women, around that age become less valuable for some reason and there's really no we don't know why but i think the anxiety starts to build when you get around that age or even older in europe i feel like women are embraced a little more it's it's hard for them to know how to handle you when you are as smart or as successful because for some reason women have been painted as these like fragile little lilies that have to be tended to, that have to be cared for. Sexiness comes from the ability to embrace yourself, like your truest being, your soul, your spirit. Get that straight, get that right, and then you just sort of, what you put out into the world is an energy that people are drawn to, male and female. We have uh, incorporated females into the cast of characters of these games because there are a lot of girl gamers, uh, especially when you play online and you wear the headset. You'll be surprised at how many voices our female voices. Allowing women to be women, allowing us to experience what we want and like what we like, that, that is feminism. I was ahead of the Me Too movement by almost a decade. Yeah, I was speaking out and saying, you know, hey, these things are happening to me and they're not okay. And everyone was like, oh, you, we don't care, you deserve it. 
And I think, you know, people just had time to review that, like in re retrospect, to look back and go, oh, she was actually saying a lot of the same things that all of these people are saying now, and she was sort of persecuted for that. I don't feel like there's a space in feminism for me. You know, even though I consider myself a feminist, I feel like feminists don't want me to be a part of their group. Me being a mirror for those particular people, whatever I provoke um, in them, is not something that they can uh, digest very well. And so that comes back on me as they, they reject me for, for those reasons.